Yo, this is Eternal Tunnel Place, Pokemon Violet! Yeah, the microphone is working again. Yes, finally, maybe now I need to remember that if I have multiple microphones connected to my PC, check which one is active, because uh, Elgato thought that my new headset is the one I want to use, but that one is not having as great microphone than this one, in my opinion, even though that one is wireless and this one I'm using right now is not. But that one I have now is so worn out, so I'm only going to use it for this let's play, then I'm going to go into the trash. And, you know, it's a fine. Now, let's continue on our journey. We're going to go and take on this guy here. The Lurking Steel Titan. Miners working in Area 3 of the East Province says something huge burrowing underground is the cause of frequent landslides. Whispers around where it could be a Titan. So obviously, since there's going to be a badge there, I guess the chance of it being a titan is actually like, you know, legit. Let's go up here. I like how it's raining and you can see that my my character, oh, he's, you can see that he has a little bit of a wet clothes, the clothes on him. That's kind of cool. Pokemon around here so far, though. So, steel types. We have multiple ways of taking care of him. Uh, Clothesire's ground, good. Be warned, though. Clothesire's also poison type, and poison has no effect against steel types. Steel types are immune to poison. Palma's fighting, which is great. Flamingo's fighting, which is great. Crocolore, fire, which is great. I mean, none of these Pokemon are really bad to use. Maybe a Sumeril, or my Sumeril should be fine. Steel types are super effective against uh, rock and ice, and also against fairy types. So Knuckle Stack and Azumarill probably will not be used, but the rest are very, very good, especially Crocolore. We have a Tumbleweed here. You think it's a Tumbleweed? It's actually a Pokemon. Should we go and capture it? I mean, why not? Yep, right, there's a Tumbleweed Pokemon. There it is. This one's called Bramblin, new Pokemon in Generation 9. Which is indeed a grass type. Can it be more though? Just to play rough. We should miss. Spin. Doesn't really do much. But it does increase speed and it also gets rid of hazards on the field. Hex now. Yes, Bramblem is also dual type ghost. It missed the play rough again. What are you doing? 90% chance to hit and I missed twice. That's just bad. Well, it's it. Super effective. Because um, Asimiral is a uh, water type and Bramblem is dual type grass and ghost. Got KO'd from that one though. Pokedex data for uh, Bramblin, another new Pokemon in generation number 9. We have a trainer here as well. I think. Yep. Oh ho ho, you bought it. My fake out, that is. Now is battle time. What's this chunky guy? Ernesto wants to fight? Sure. Why in Cologne? Here we go. Let's see what this guy has to offer. Let's try one more time with Playroom. Covid comes first. Takes no damage, but not too much. Playroom doing the damage of reducing attack. I love Playroom, it's such a great power. Oh no. We lost our huge power now, which means our physical attack is not going to do a lot less damage. Little bubble boot. The reason I like using Play Rough for uh, Azumarill is because of the huge power, which doubles physical damage. And now I have another ability, which will be gone. Not only Cologne again. He has two of them. Oh, I don't mind. Let's bring in Pomo then. Going Cologne is a normal type. Let's bring in a fighting type. Come on, 
clones. And this one's different because it's a female. Arm thrust. Five times. That's twice. Three times. That's nice. I covet. Doesn't really do much. Arm thrust again. As long as I hit three times or more, it should be okay. No, we skip it twice. Oh, bad. Ow, they actually heard of it. That's the one hit you only needed. And the one goes down. And we win. That little joke really cost me. Yeah, I guess you can say so. Let's heal up our Azumarill and Puma. Oh, look at that! That's a Kufant from Generation 8. Steel type. Q Steel type elephant. So, yeah, fairy types don't really do well against steel. Normal. I mean, water damage at least. Bulldoze. Which a ground type move. It's okay to use against a zoom roll, but. If you find it's not a ground type, so it doesn't really get the damage bonus. Rock Smash, not very effective, because fairy types are resistant to fighting. Let's see if we can capture Kufant. Kufant. The steel type elephant from Generation 8. Got him. Then new Pokemon. I check out the Pokedex data for Kufant. Kufant, the Copper Derm perk Pokemon, Steel type. Kufant can lift loads weighing five tons. In the mornings, it head into caves with his herd in search for water ore, which his Pokemon feed. Sounds cute. Go. We got a bag on here as well, which is a very cool Pokemon. One of my actually my favorite Dragon type Pokemon, Salamence, comes from Bagon, and it's kind of funny because in the old games, a wild Bagon was very, very rare, almost impossible to get. So this one becomes very powerful in the end. We can use Player Up, but that's probably going to be a one-hit KO because dragons are weak to Fairy. Who does army voice? Even that was one KO. Not a Bramblin here, by the way. Should we try some other Pokemon against Bramblin, maybe? Hmm. What's the moveset I have for uh, Mr. Crocolore again? Snarl, yeah, we can do. We can do Crocolore. Let's try to get Bramblin again. Let's go for Snarl. Hex first. Do some damage. Snarl. Powerful Dark Special Attack. Didn't kill it though, which is very nice. I should be able to get it now with a. Uh, go for Great Ball. Get it? We do! We got ourselves a Bramblin, one of the new Pokemon in Generation 9. Level up for Crocolor, which is important for our next uh, battles. Here is Bramblin. Tumbleweed Pokemon, dual type grass and ghost. Not even Bramblin knows where it's headed as it tumbles across the wilderness, blown by the wind. It loads getting wet. It was usually dry. We also have a Voltorb here. Be careful that one. You can see? Boom. Yeah. I like how they do that though. It actually explodes. So another generation 8 Pokemon here. Got Rufflet here. Makuhira. Dugtrio are here. 
We also have a uh, raid, terror raid then. For ground type. Item shining on the ground. Damn Brock. This is a very nice item for Pokemon that are really depending on using um, Rain Dance, because it causes Rain Dance to last longer. Got another Rufflet down here, so we have Diglets here. Another item here. Thunderstone. Important item. Some Pokemon can only evolve by using Elemental Stone. Dusk Ball, great Pokeball for when the Dark Wing Caves, X accuracy. Increasing accuracy by two times. Give me gold coins. So what is this raid battle all about? Ah, it's Squowit. Ground tap Squowit. Only one star though. I'm going to say pass. But at least you should go, even if you don't want to do the raid battles, you should approach them. Because it's basically free money or league points. Only by just touching one, you get league points for free. So it's important to just go into them and get them. More Kufans here, we have Dug Trios here as well. I see an item. EXP can be small. My Pokemon evolved! Ooh. What did it evolve to? Let's find out. Want to help my newly evolved Pokemon with some target practice? Sure. Here we have Dario the Pokemaniac. This Pokemon is... Gyarados! Oh boy! I didn't expect that one. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, I can understand why he's so happy, because... When you're up a Magikarp, that's just pain. It's gonna be painful as well for me, though, because Gyarados is dual-type water and flying. Which means uh, Crocolore is going to be in danger, as he's weak to water. Waterfall, this is gonna hurt. Oh yeah, almost a KO. Not only hurts, not too much. Which that goes down, but Waterfall is a physical move. Brian as well. Brian is a move that does more damage if the opponent has lower amount of HP left. But fine, we can also use Poma. Poma, dual type, fighting and electric. Yeah, it's weak to flying. But Gyarados, despite being a flying type, doesn't really have a lot of flying moves in his arsenal, so you usually can kind of ignore the fact that it does uh, being a flying type when it comes to damage he can do to you. Let's go for Spark. Okay, that's gonna get a lot of damage from this one. He's four times weak to electric. Easy beatings for Gardos. And now he learns the move for Flamingo Payback. Payback is a dark move. Which basically does more damage if more damage if the opponent attacks first or doubles first. So third of a turn, you'll charge. Then it'll check if you take took damage from the opponent during that turn. If yes, damage is going to 100 power instead of 50. It's a pretty really decent move, I got to say. Copycat, I don't really I'd like it as much as two RNG to niche. Very rarely, it's very useful. My Pokemon, so newly evolved, doesn't know how to battle. Well, it did beat me, even though I was using a kind of bad Pokemon against it, though. Let's revive onto Crocolore. We need him to get more uh, EXP. And we need a potion to bring him back to full health. We have another Generation 8 Pokemon. Very interesting one too. So here we have Rolicoli. Rolicoli is a uh, rock type, I think. And it's only a kind of Rolicoli. But it does have evolutional types, which increase gives it new typing. Rock Polish, which is basically the rock version of agility. Agent power. A Rock type special attack, which has a small chance to some all stats by one. Let's go capture the Collie. Let's do a Pokeball. One, two, three, and we got him! Roly Collie was caught. Here's a Pokedex data for Roly Collie. 
Is there's a rock type Pokemon, but when it evolves uh, its two ways, it gains the fire type. So the Coli, this is generation 8 Pokemon, Coal Pokemon. Chunks of the surface of this Pokemon's body that have grown old and flaked off have long been used for fuel as an alternate to coal. Okay, I just hope the Pokemon doesn't get, you know, suffers from all that. Because in real life, pe we people are tending to be a bit cruel to animals. Hopefully the same way for Pokemon too. Got all the coal. coal. That daily was sleeping until we woke it up. We're so rude. Just running into people's territory like Hi Diglett! Are you sleeping? Wakey wakey! Yeah, that would be kind of rude. More of these brumblums here. We got Dog Trio as well and a Diglett. And we got a Diglett. This is also the regular Diglett, not the Alolan version, which is a steel type as well. We have Diglett. We couldn't. Because Diglett is much faster. Sucker Punch will fail. Sucker Punch is basically a dark physical move which does pretty good damage, but it cannot work if the opponent does not deal damage in the same turn. Sucker Punch basically is a priority move like Quick Attack, but it will fail if the opponent does not go for a move that deals damage. With a call. Garvin. Yo, Sitano! So, somewhere in one of those mines that are around here, we should find a lurking steel type. Rumors has the thing is staggering huge and real long. You would think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot. I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast. If that's the case, riding that Pokemon of yours might help you catch up. Sounds interesting. Well, next episode we're gonna find out about this so-called Titan that he's talking about. Let's see what it is, how to find it, and how to battle it, and get ourselves another badge. It'll be interesting. So, Titan time next time. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That'll be it for now. See you guys next time as my journey in Pokemon Violet continues.